people in this country have no idea what it takes to put the food on their table. You think bees are underappreciated? Taken for yeah. granted? Yeah, bees are underappreciated. Sometimes I think beekeepers are underappreciated. <laughs> Come on, you! Most people would have trouble getting to sleep with a couple of dozen bees buzzing around. But Hackenberg never worries about getting stung. Yeah, it's just part of the business, you know, it's like stopping for traffic lights in New York. <laughs> How many times have you been stung? Oh, like, probably in the thousands and thousands and thousands of times. And I've had days when I might have 100, 120 bee stings in one day. You? Me, myself. Your body builds up an immunity, immunity to it. If I were to get stung 125 times, I'd be sick. You'd probably be in the hospital. In a good year, you can make $100,000 profit. But this past year has been a financial disaster. And it all began one afternoon last November when he checked on some of his hives in Florida. When I pulled into a bee yard in Florida, there was 400 hives of bees that three weeks before that looked great. And all of a sudden, here we got roughly 400 beehives that are totally empty. The bees were all gone. They're gone. I mean, where'd they go? Don't know. <laughs> has a real mystery on its hands. The official explanation here is that jet contrails are causing strange lines in the sky and that it's pollen making people sick on the ground, making people sick on the ground, making people sick on the ground. There was a huge dust cloud. Longtime Cedar Glen resident Gretchen Sherman says she has never seen anything like it. Yes. Big was it? Oh, it covered the entire Cedar Glen area. A cloud of dust, leaving a sticky yellow slime all over her car. It happened again last February. It happened again last February. It happened again last February. What is the difference between a jet contrail and a chemtrail? According to the United States Air Force, jet contrails form about 33,000 feet when hot engine exhaust momentarily condenses into ice crystals into a pencil-thin vapor trail that quickly vanishes like the weight beyond a boot. Chemtrails do look like contrails once they have been sprayed, but they are much thicker and extend across the sky and often lean down in various patterns of X's, tic tac go grids cross lines and parallel lines. Instead of quickly dissipating, chemtrails expand into fake Cyrus type of clouds. Who's doing the spraying? Witnesses have documented and photographed military KC-135s and KC-10s in white unmarked jets. Also, airport personnel and pilots have also confirmed commercial airliners to be leaving long-lasting chemtrails. Well, What's in the chemtrails and why are they spraying us? We wish we knew. We wish we knew. We wish we knew. Bees die, plants die, animals die, humans die, all within four years. So afraid of the killer bee! What did the killer bee ever do? Killer bee ain't done The honey bee is gonna wreck house. Who's afraid of us now? I literally got down and crawled around. I mean, seriously, I got down on my hands and knees and crawled around. And then there's no dead bees. There are no dead bees anywhere. I mean, you can't find any bees. They flew off someplace. And never came back. Never came home. Had you ever seen that before? No.
early 1990s in barium, aluminum. But Rosalind Peterson of California Skywatch says health department records show a sharp increase in both chemicals in the water supply of Northern California, dating from the time the huge contrails first appeared over her home in Mendocino County.